Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today we're looking at the truth about the difference between brown eggs and white eggs. There are all sorts of rumors surrounding brown eggs and white eggs. Some people say that brown eggs are better for you and contain more nutrients. Some people think that brown eggs are better for cooking things like quiches, while white eggs are better for cooking things like cakes, or vice versa, depending on who you talk to. We here at Today I Found Out are all about uncovering the truth amongst all of the myths. And so, here is the fascinating difference between brown eggs and white eggs. Brown eggs are brown, white eggs are white. Seriously, much like humans, whether the egg is brown or white, they are the same inside, though in the case of eggs, with one minor caveat, which we'll get to in a minute, that has nothing to do with whether the chicken is a brown egg layer or white. But besides that caveat, a brown egg or a white egg will give you the same amount of nutrition, they taste the same, and they are equally delicious in quiches and cakes. Also, contrary to popular belief, the two also have more or less the same shell thickness on average. If you've previously noted a difference here, this is likely to do with the age of the chicken. Young chickens lay eggs with shells that are typically harder than older chickens' eggs, but this is true for both white and brown egg layers. How the rumors started about brown eggs being better is thought to be because they're often more expensive at supermarkets, at least in the United States. If something costs more, it has to be better quality or better for you, right? Not in this case, and not in many others. Increasing the price of something, sometimes drastically, is an occasionally used marketing trick to get people to think one product is better than a comparable cheaper product. Sometimes that's true, but many times it's not. As for egg prices, brown eggs cost more in part because the hens that lay them usually eat more, which means the hens cost more to keep per egg. You see, white eggs are most often laid by white or light-colored hens with white earlobes, while brown Brown eggs are most often laid by red-feathered or brown, dark-feathered chickens with red earlobes. This is not a universal truth, just a general rule. Further, the chicken's earlobes are really the indicator here, not the feathers, but there is a very strong correlation between earlobe color and feather color, so feather color can be a decent indicator too. Ultimately, egg color is determined by genetics, but the earlobe feather color thing is a good indicator. In the end, red-lobed chickens tend to be larger than their white-lobed counterparts, which is why they eat more. The farmers need to get reimbursed for the extra feed somehow, so they up the price of the brown eggs. This also explains why white eggs tend to be more popular in supermarkets in some regions of the world. White-lobed chickens cost less for farmers to keep, which leads to cheaper eggs, which leads to grocers buying more white eggs to put on the shelves to offer this product cheaper to consumers. White eggs are simply more cost-effective in the general case. There is also a commonly touted myth that brown eggs taste better, and that's why they're more expensive. As noted, the white egg brown egg taste difference is a myth. But the potential difference in taste from one egg to another does lead us to the one caveat, though it isn't anything to do with the color of the egg. Rather, it has to do with the chicken's diet. Many chickens raised at home are brown egg layers, while most of the chickens raised for commercial use are white egg layers. The different diets affect the taste of the eggs and even the color of the yolk, similar to how diet can drastically affect the taste of meat. However, if you were to take one of those brown egg laying chickens and raise it on the same food as a white egg-laying chicken, their eggs would taste the same and be otherwise indistinguishable aside from the color of the shell. If their diets are the same, the yolks will even be identical in color. Today, chickens raised for commercial purposes, whether layers of white eggs or brown, are all getting fed the same thing, with perhaps just a slight variance from company to company. If you've had some brown eggs from a neighbor or a chicken of your own that's fed a different diet than commercially fed chickens eat, then there may be a difference in taste. It just doesn't have anything to do with the color of the egg. So if brown egg laying chickens are more expensive to feed and keep, why do farmers keep them around? The answer is that so many people buy into the brown eggs taste better myth that brown eggs are still a viable business option. As long as people keep buying the more expensive eggs and are willing to pay the marked up prices beyond factoring in the extra feed, farmers will keep raising chickens that lay them. Of course, these days, some of the most hotly debated 
arguments aren't over white versus brown eggs, but over the superior quality of organic versus not organic eggs or free range versus cage eggs. While differences in diet can affect the taste, if you're wondering about quality of the egg or nutritional value, a study done by D. R. Jones et al. through the Agricultural Research Service and published in Poultry Science in 2010 found that ultimately there is very little difference in the quality of eggs produced in these different ways. The small differences they did find varied without one egg type consistently maintaining the highest or lowest values. So in the end, while there are small ways the composition and taste of chicken eggs can be in influenced, the color of the eggshell is not one of them. So I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below the video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this seven days of the week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching.